so where they should have been in politics, but I think <laughs> you're more useful in your calling. Um, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of former Minister for Education, our senior Professor Ongeri, and uh, I'd also like to acknowledge, if I didn't by any chance, uh, senior uh, Fred Gumo, former Member of Parliament for this area. Uh, it's now my privilege to invite my former colleague, C.S. Farida Karone, to uh, give a tribute on behalf of all the former colleagues of Professor Magoha. Thank you. Thank you, Raphael. Please allow me to observe the protocols that have already been set in the interest of time. Dr. Barbara, Dr. Michael, and the extended Magoha family. On behalf of the colleagues, the former colleagues of Professor, and we are led here by the former head of public service, Dr. Joseph Kenyua, former colleagues in cabinet, former PSS, and technocrats who worked with Professor. We bring our deepest condolences to the family, and we want to tell you that we stand with you during this difficult time. Dr. Barbara, if you allow me, permit me to thank His Excellency the President, because when Professor passed on on the 24th of January, as former colleagues, we quickly came together to support the family, and we were given great support by the government of Kenya. So I want to thank His Excellency the President, I want to specifically mention, through the Minister for Interior, the PS for Interior, Dr. Omolo, the PS for Education, Dr. Belio, and through you, Dr. Belio, to the Kenya Literature Bureau, because without your support, it may not have been possible to pull off this function. So we want to honor you and appreciate the contribution and the support you gave us as former colleagues of Professor. As former colleagues, Professor served with us and led by doing. What we learned from Professor is that if you have chosen public life, then you had better be ready to serve with honor and integrity. And I think all of you who have spoken have spoken about how Professor always tried or endeavored to be a dignified man, to lead with honor and to lead with integrity. The other thing that he taught us is to always be dependable and trustworthy. And as former colleagues, Dr. Barbara, I hope you have found us trustworthy and dependable because that is what Professor would have expected us to do. During the meetings of the committee, and I think uh, our colleague Raf will say that, we always were saying, if Prof was here, he would have thought we were jokers if we behaved this way. So can we get a little bit more serious? So Prof was a uh, it is true, people thought he never smiled. But in our chit chats while we were waiting for cabinet or waiting for meetings, he was always a very humorous person, he was very kind, and he was a very, very loyal friend. Speaking from personal experience, I lost my, sister, my father in 2020 October, and a year later I lost my sister. On both occasions, he traveled all the way to Nandi to come and support my family. So that is the person that Professor Magoha was. He was very loyal, very dependable. So as we mourn him, if he leaves anything behind, those of us in public service, if you can just be what he was, this country will change like you can't believe it. The other thing, apart from uh, the integrity, the efficiency and effectiveness that uh, next spoke about, this is a man that you could not fault. He would be very rough on you, by the way, once he lost his title, and I thought he was going to beat me up. You know, he was a very heavily built man. Then he came and told me, Farida, how can I lose my title and you're the Minister for Lands? Because we were very good friends. I asked him, Prof, can you calm down? What do you mean you lost your title? Then he said that he had gone to City Hall and found that somebody had changed his title into his name. So I told him, relax. The custodian of title to land is the national government. And for as long as I'm here, your land will not be lost. So I actually got his file, kept it in my office, and made sure that it was digitized. So I told him, even if I'm not Minister for Land, your title will not be lost because I've digitized it. So that was the man who Professor Magoha was. He would not have allowed you to be mediocre in the things that you did or to, do, to take things lightly. He used to say that public service is a calling, and indeed it is. 
So when you're in public service, he would say, don't worry about resting. There will be plenty of time to rest in the grave. So he was always on his feet. I'm sure you saw him. He went to almost every school in Kenya. I don't remember a school that professor didn't go to. I, there's a, a photo that I had wished that we had used. Him coming out of a very tiny man, man, manyata. And you know he's a very built man, so he had to like squeeze himself into the door of the manyata. That was Professor Magoha. He served by doing. He led by example. He did everything in his power to make sure that our country was a better place because of the service that he offered. So if we were to learn anything from him as servants in our country, not just public servants, anybody, if you're a CEO of an organization, if you're a teacher, if you're a church minister, whatever you are, always remember to do things in the interest of humanity because that is what Professor did. And as we all spoke and prepared for his funeral, I couldn't help but thinking, what will people say at my funeral? I think I can leave you with the same question. What will people say at your funeral? Will they remember your good deeds or will they remember the terrible things that you did on behalf of other people? I thank you for your attention. Barbara, we continue to condole with you. We'll support you to the end. And we pray that God may give you grace. For Professor, we pray that uh, God may be pleased with him and rest his soul in paradise. I thank you very much for your attention.